washing ceremony yesterday. Um, just her tears were incredibly precious to me. Uh, she looked me right in the eyes and was just telling me that she can't wait to serve me uh, the way that Jesus was serving his disciples during the Last Supper. And I think just with her, her purity that it shows um, her dedication. I think she's just such a loyal friend is one of the things that I love the most about her and she's completely loyal to her family and to myself, and she's always looking to serve others, and that's like one of my favorite qualities about her. So when she had that moment with me last night, I was just um, pretty overwhelmed to say the least. And so I'm just excited for the day. Uh, definitely a little bit nervous uh, to see her walking down the aisle and to do the first look. But um, yeah, it's just gonna be an extremely special day with all of her family and friends. Rye, I could not be more excited to marry you today. I kind of can't believe that it's actually here. <laughs> Feels like we've been talking about this and planning this for a lifetime, and then it also sort of feels like it was just yesterday that you proposed and asked me to be your wife. Do you love it? <laughs> I love it, I love you. <laughs> it's just, it truly is the greatest honor to marry you. Your character is beyond words and I feel so incredibly fully known and fully loved by you every single day. Near my sense of peace, I can't wait to see you so that I feel that peace and I just love you a ton. We just take a moment to slow down and to, to just acknowledge you, to thank you that this marriage is already successful because you are in the middle. That no matter what they walk through, Lord, we are starting declaring victory because you are in the middle of this marriage. <laughs> You're absolutely beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> Can you believe we're getting married today? No. <laughs> okay, you want to see the back? Yes, you I ready? want to see the back. Yes. Okay. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Are you kidding me? <laughs> You're the most beautiful bride ever. I love you so much. <laughs> I write this message to you already having cried, laughed, <laughs> cried, and laughed again. <laughs> the crying is of joy. The laughter is also rooted in joy. With a touch of disbelief that I actually get to marry the woman I prayed for for so long. 
the woman who is not of my dreams, <laughs> but rather surpasses and exceeds anything I could have ever dreamt in my wildest dreams. <laughs> God acts in mysterious ways, as we all know, but his way of bringing our paths together is one that doesn't bring more mystery, but rather greater clarity. <laughs> clarity of who I am meant to bear my soul to, clarity of what it means to live out sacrificial love, and clarity around the love that God intended for one another here on earth. Ryan Paul Scott, I cannot believe I have the honor of being your wife. I never in a million years could have guessed that we'd end up here, but that's just how good God is. In the early days of us dating, I was smitten with your kindness, your fun and refreshing personality, your handsome good looks. <laughs> I could kiss you for hours, and we did. But my heart still couldn't fully accept your love. I couldn't open myself up to receive your love because I didn't first love myself. I remember so many tearful nights wondering if I would make it through the anxiety I was experiencing. The way you showed me grace, love, and mercy was the same unconditional love that Jesus shows to us. You taught me how to accept love and how in turn to love myself. I pray I can be the same source of that unconditional love that you were and continue to be for me. Morgan Ashley Wiemhoff, you're the brightest light in my life. You have the most vibrant and charismatic personality and you make others feel at home through your glowing warmth. You handle life's challenges with such grace, tranquility, and positivity that can only be explained through knowing the Trinity in an intimate way. Mm -hmm. You bring so much fun to every room you enter, whether you're dancing, singing, or just chatting with those you're around. I fell in love with you along the journey, a slow, intentional, beautifully us journey that just keeps getting better with time. You are the greatest thing that God ever blessed me with, and I promise to pray for you, to show you the same unconditional love you've shown me, and to never stop seeking Jesus in our marriage. And may all we do in our marriage bring Him glory and honor, and may our words be a reflection of His word. Mm. I love you, Morgan Ashley. <laughs> Let's do this thing. Forever. <laughs> I know. Oh my gosh. <laughs>